Hi, library friends. This is Dave. He's one of the tail wagging tutors at the library. And I know most of you have probably read stories to Dave. And today we thought we would like to read a story to you. So Dave had picked out a book, Jurassic Bark. We thought you'd really like it. It's about dinosaurs. So let's begin. Dave, you're going to sit down, honey, and we'll listen to the story, okay? Sit down. It was an exciting day for the Paw Patrol. They were going on a hunt for dinosaur bones. Are you pups paleontologists primed for a big dino dig, asked Captain Turbot. I'm ready to shovel, said Rubble. We want to find fossils. Bones that are so old, they're hard as rocks, Ryder said. Here's a picture. They're on their way to the excavation site. The Paw Patroller rolled up to the dig site, and the pups went to work. While Chase placed traffic cones to keep the work area safe, Rubble used his shovel to dig. Whoa, my shovel hit something, exclaimed Rubble. Captain Turbot was amazed at what Rubble had found. These are a billion times better than dino bones. They're dino eggs. Way to dig, Rubble, said Ryder. There they are at the excavation site. Marshall used his x-ray to look inside the eggs. You definitely made a dandy discovery for the museum's diorama, said Captain Turbot. Later, the pups tried to guess what was inside the eggs. I bet they're pterodactyls, said Marshall, or pupodactyls, added Skye. But Rubble was tired from his big day at digging. Time for a prehistoric nap, he said, and his head filled with dinosaurs as he began to dream. Near his sound asleep. Kind of like Davy, it's one of those days he just wants to sleep. Dinosaurs were everywhere in Adventure Bay. A mother pterodactyl built a nest for her three eggs, but one rolled out and landed in a tree. A triceratops and her child wandered the hills. And a giant uteraptor ate Mayor Goodway's lunch. Oh, look at that big dinosaur. Must have enjoyed the lunch. Rubble was about to rescue the pterodactyl egg in the tree when suddenly it hatched. The other eggs in the nest hatched too. Three small flying dinos zoomed into the air. Rubble had no time to save the pterodactyls because the train was having trouble with the triceratops. Rubble sped to the stopped train and found a baby triceratops resting on the tracks in front of it. Triceratops are my favorite dino, said Rubble. Let's get you off the tracks. It's not a good place for him to decide to lay down and take a nap, is it? Not at all. Rubble climbed onto the the triceratops back and the dinosaur gave him a ride away from the tracks. Then they played with the mother triceratops. You did it, Rubble, exclaimed the engineer. You saved the day. And I'm sure the engineer was very happy about that to get the triceratops off the tracks so he could continue on his journey. Meanwhile, Marshall found one of the baby tricer tr pterodactyls in a tree. He wanted to return it to its mother. Marshall climbed up his fire ladder, and the dino bonked him in, with its beak. Marshall fell to the ground. I'm good, Marshall said, as the baby flapped down and landed gently on his tummy. Skye arrived in her helicopter and lowered a harness to Marshall. He slipped into it, and as he was carried into the air, he called to the baby pterodactyl, follow me. The baby dinosaur flew all the way back to its nest with Marshall. Over at the playground, Chase found another baby pterodactyl. 
He launched a net from his pack and snagged it. Just then, the relieved mother pterodactyl flew down. She removed the net and happily took off with her baby. Not far away, Sky zoomed over Adventure Bay and spotted the last baby pterodactyl. She swooped down to rescue it, and the giant uteraptor jumped in her way. Keep your claws off that baby, you big bully, Sky barked. The giant raptor roared through Adventure Bay. It ate all the hamburgers, then swallowed all Mr. Porter's vegetables. It even gobbled up the Paw Patrol's favorite treats, liver links. Watching this gave Rocky an idea. Oh boy, he's in trouble. <laughs> he's eating everything in sight. A sausage link hit the raptor on the snout. Then another, and another. Rocky had turned his truck into a sausage slinger. As it drove away from Adventure Bay, it flung Lynx into the air. The Uteraptor followed, hungrily gulping down the treats. It's time to lead this parade out of town and into the jungle, said Rocky. Which is where they probably should be, right? Not in the town. The mother pterodactyl was glad to have her babies back. We were happy to help, said Ryder. Whenever you're in trouble, just squawk for help. Skye and Marshall took to the air, ready to lead the family to the jungle. Uh, you guys are going too, asked Rubble. The mother and baby tr 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 triceratops roared goodbye as they lumbered away. They'll all be much happier in the jungle said Ryder. Saving dinosaurs sure makes me tired, Rubble said with a yawn, and he stretched out on the grass. There they are. They're walking back into the jungle. Wake up, Rubble, said Captain Turbot. Nifty news. Those eggs you found are from a new species no one's ever seen. I named it Rubble Osaurus. Wow, thanks, said Rubble. He couldn't believe a dinosaur was now named after him. It was a dream come true. There he is. And that's the end. Hope, hope everyone enjoyed the story, and we look forward to seeing you again at the library. Thank you. Have a good day.